I know it's a beautiful place. I sort of came here in the evening and it was dark. I didn't know, really know much about the place. And I woke up and looked out the window. There was beautiful mountains and could see the ocean. And you know, what, what more can you want? It shouldn't be that complicated. <laughs> She's recording me, recording her, uh, recording me. <laughs> That's mad! I'm just from Londra, I live in Kurdish. I'm 15 years in Londra. What do I know about Cyprus? I know that it's an island that has gone back and forth quite a lot between quite a few different nations. Byzantine, Ottoman, Turkish, Greeks. Çünkü geçemiyoruz. Türk pasaportunla Rum tarafına geçemiyorsun. Ya da geçmen için önce Atina'ya gitmen gerekiyor. Oradan Rum tarafına inmen gerekiyor. Bu sebeple vize almakla uğraşman gerekiyor. Biraz zor. Um, I'm hoping to see some good films, meet some good people, and yeah, get some documentary making experience, which is quite exciting. I'm looking forward to see the turtles. I don't know if I will be able to see them, but um, hopefully I can go during the night and, and then see some at the beach. So looking forward to nice trip to the beach. Bursa'dan buraya geldiğim zaman açıkçası biraz bir kültür şokuna maruz kaldım çünkü insanı Kıbrıs deyince gözünde başka şeyler canlanıyor fakat e, politik sorunlardan dolayı yani aslında Kuzey Kıbrıs Türk Cumhuriyeti'nin dünya çapında tanımamasından dolayı burada bir geri kalmışlık var. Well, Cyprus has a very complex history, most of all. Um, but um, yeah, most importantly, um, we're organizing film festival here, so I'm not speaking up, am I? Association for Historical Dialogue and Research. The first non-governmental organization that was set up with Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriot members on their boards. Um, and if you think of that 11 years ago when there were no checkpoints opening or they had just opened, it was a, it was a really big deal. Up until April 2003, the two main communities had no contact with each other since 1974. 
Um, what's really weird is though, there's a house, there's a derelict house just next to ours, our neighbouring house. And that house actually is not in the buffer zone. It's actually considered to be in the southern part of the island. All of this side of the road is buffer zone. When you get to the checkpoint down there, you're in the northern part of Cyprus. Was I really not meant to film? Just so, to try to hide it. So this is a building which is in the buffer zone and there was conflict here at one point. You can see holes, bullet holes and it's completely derelict. But if you come around here you can see the, the sandbags that are left behind from and there's writings on the walls inside. It's hard to imagine what it would actually be like if you know, there was actually conflict going on at this point, you know? Well, say hello to Jenny. Say hello, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, what are your thoughts of uh, the island thus far? Really interesting, really. You know, I already knew most of this history other than the parts about the Greek, uh, the, what we just discovered about the Greek Cypriots saying that they were the ones who said no. I've thought, always thought it was the other way around. It's been a journey and a half. Um, the fact that I've come all the way from, you know, the UK to here. I mean, I don't do anything to do with films. Um, I've not done it in the past. I'm a law graduate. Um, I'm a lawyer. Um, it's been a journey. Um, I've got to see loads of different things, like different places. I've got to see the problems in Cyprus, um, the difference in the, the north and the south, and how the people have um, behaved towards this situation. I've got to interview loads of people as well, which was quite interesting, and everyone had something different to say. So it's been a good experience in the sense that I've got to find out about something that I didn't have a clue about before. It's the day of the opening gala for the Golden Island Film Festival. We're just about to head to a Turkish barber shop where we're going to get Beards shaved into a nice traditional Turkish design and Luana here is going to get a cheeky design shaved onto the side of her head. Yes. by Yeshim to come here and um, provide the like, technical expert, well I say expertise, but technical knowledge of how projectors work, how film festivals, you know, the management of the of equipment and um, to also look at where the problems might be and how we can solve those before, before it gets to that point. We had difficulties but there were some really great moments where we were able to, you know, get the film in, get the film just in time on screen and basically 
go in, show projectionists how to do things differently, how to work in a festival environment and get them to pull it off really well. And you know, some of the, some of the screenings have gone like really well with good turnouts and good people. So <laughs> Is that from Muslim pray, praying? Praying? Yeah. Call, yeah, calling for uh, Muslims for a pray. Because yeah. um, this is the midday one. Um, I wanted to know what their faith was like. I heard about it. I knew about it. I wanted to put it into practice and be a part of it. Uh, partly because we're here in Cyprus. This is the dominant uh, religion, but also because of my own origins and uh, being half Moroccan, half my family is Muslim. And um, I think it was important for me myself also to do it. Um, United Kingdom. Yes. Yes. I'm Italian. Italia. Polish. Poland. Poland. Yes. Chin. Chin. Do you know what I'm saying? Islam is not a good thing. He's asking me to do anything about Islam or anything. Jamie, tell me, I'm telling you, 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 I'm Böyle bir şey yapmak istediler. Gelmiş zaten daha önce de konuşmuş. Sanki böyle e, Müslüman olmuş gibi görünüyor. Yani evet. öyle bir intiba veriyor He said, yani. She, she looked like, just like a Muslim. Ama <gülüyor> it's because she is Italian. <gülüyor> But it was, it was quite nice. It was like so, I felt like the holiness of, and this, this the spiritual feeling that I had, it was unique. Film festival um, in northern Cyprus. Did you know there was a film festival in North, in North Cyprus at the moment? What is what is North Cyprus? <laughs> huh? The uh, what to kind of put it uh, correctly? The other would it be side. The, the other, yeah, <laughs> the other side. You mean the occupied area? We're literally like a hundred meters away from where we were before, and everything and it's has very changed. Different. Everything has changed. This looks so normal. This looks a lot like Italy, and all the shops are the same that are in Italy and in England as well. While in Northern Cyprus, it's quite it's difficult to find a shop like that we have in England as well. I think we're only noticing now like how little things North Cyprus has. Yeah. So you know, yeah, it's the same island, but if it's different. There's nothing wrong in taking a side, I think. How much different do you feel the film festival would be here? I think it would definitely be more popular, popular in here because it seems to be asked a strong element in their daily life. But it's not necessary. How do I put it? I don't feel it was the same in North Cyprus. I was born in Kyrenia. My house, yeah, my house, uh, I've been born, is there. Yeah. You see uh, the flag, the Turkish yes. flag, with the white stones? Yeah. I'm exactly, my village is exactly there. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 
And is your house still there? Yeah, it's still there, and some other Turkish uh, Cypriot lives there. The, the Greek Cypriot, the Turkish Cypriot, they didn't have problems before. I remember when I was young, international politics is not always in the favor of the people. So you're from the north? Yes, I'm born there. Okay. I was seven and I remember everything. Would you like to go back? Yes, for sure. Yes. But the, uh, the place that I was um, raised in a beautiful church in mountains, now I could see it from the house that I live and it's a hole in the mountain. So they, they tore down the church? They tore down everything. You don't recognize anything. Yes, very sad. So close and so far. Satisfied, uh, fulfilled, uh, and social. I think I've just found a, a new place that I really enjoy, and it feels, uh, it feels like somewhere I will want to come again. And I would definitely come here. I really hope they do the festival again because it's been great. How has this experience changed you? Has it changed you a little bit? Yeah. Really, um, insofar as that we were at the festival and we had to travel around because the festival was all over like three different locations. What is the thing that you have seen that touched you most or that you like most or like? Yeah, the actually, the team. Cause, Good team of people. Because we came like family, it, and it's important. <laughs> yeah, like I didn't know all Jam before I came here. Um, but you came best friends. We're, yeah, we're like punkers. <laughs> but we're the same with everyone. <laughs> and everyone's the same to each other. So yes. it's, it's good relations here. Yeah? Everyone's good to each other. Hello. How are we all wave? Everybody wave. Hey. Bonjour, ça va? I like this.